the Wolfette. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for being here. So on today's video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing the brand new of the minute wolf cut called the Wolfette. It's a take on the mullet and the wolf cut together. And I'm going to be showing you a really simple broken down haircut in ponytails. And then we can go into the salon version to show you exactly what we would do on the salon floor. So the Wolfette is something which still maintains a lot of that heaviness on top. We've got a lot of that sort of length texture down the back, but what we're losing today is more from this side and there's gonna be disconnection. So we want there to be shorter pieces up around the curvature of the head, which sort of like flow down. This gives us a bit of scaffolding to hold up this top section to make the top look even fuller. But then what it does is it compresses in here, creating a bit of a mullet look, and then we gather some length through here because of the way that our sectioning is taken. Our section on the back, you can see I've already sectioned out. The staple fringe, the unicorn, whatever you want to call it, on that front. We've got two side sections and then we've got that at the back. These bits at the bottom aren't long enough to go up into the ponytail, so we know we're going to maintain length. So let's jump over to our board and I will draw out the sectioning pattern. So with our sectioning, what we want to be doing is we want to be taking from recession straight back into there and there is our first section ponytail section and then through here we want to be coming up into there slightly coming around and then bending round into this back hairline so again through there and then just bending round into there those two sides create the mullet look to this so the et part of the wolfette and again, so we'll look at this and it will come down into here, come down into here, there, 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 and there. We want our section to be quite high because what we want is to create that, the higher we go, the shorter it will be at that point of the, of the highest point through here. Because this hair here is elevated up, elevated up, maintaining length. And then all of this back is gathered together to create a section through there. So again, we look there, section, we come through here, and then we bend round into there. Sorry. We want to be up here, and then section. And this is what's going to create the Wolfette haircut. I think it's going to be, for definitely for summer, it's going to be a lot more... Um, looser, airy, because we're taking that weight away from the face. That's one thing that people when they have the wolf cut, they also they always think, oh, I'm a bit suffocated. This here is what is gonna remove that and make it a lot more airy and a lot more summer friendly, hot weather friendly. Let's get into the haircut. So we'll be starting this front section first. You can see there's odd, odd bits of length in here. We're going to pull up to create elevation, creating softness. If we were working in salon, all these sections would be taken to that middle section or guide and then cut on this angle. So if we look there, if we take an inch off, we're gonna be around about here and then flowing around about here. And then when we take into consideration with this, we know those shorter pieces that are gonna be on these sides are gonna melt in beautifully. See there, an inch. And then what we want to do is we want to really soften. So this would be as if we're point cutting in the salon. So we take our section and we're just opening it up. Point cutting deep into there to create a lot more softness. And there we go, nice and soft. Now let's move on to these side pieces. This is going to be the, the mullet part. Elevated, so we know we're going to be maintaining from that bottom here. If you can see on that hairline, that's traveling all the way up to here. So we're going to maintain all that length in here, is where it's going to be shorter, depending on how short we go in here. So we know we've already got about an inch and a half already here. So we know if we've got that, it's already going to be coming over the ear which is cool. We want it to be nice and floaty. We still want there to be length because we want it to connect. So if we were to bring straight up 
from that section. That hair is over directing back. That hair is over directing forward. What that's creating then is extra length. So I'm going to leave at the, at the bobble. I'm going to take about two inches off. Point cut in. Creating softness. So to get exact, we're going to put our comb to the bobble, not past it. So this side, we can measure. Through there. That looks balanced. And then when we come to the back, the back has already been taken off of this mannequin. So we've got a lot to play with, but I know this length here, or this piece here is, is the bulk of the hair, normally sitting in here, so quite weighty. So I'm just gonna release all that. That piece there is that piece that's sitting in the bulk of the hair, creating a lot of weight. This here is the length, so we know we're keeping all of that. So I'm gonna point cut. See, I'm slightly elevating with my fingers as well. If it was an actual section, I would elevate to create that softness and, and maintain a lot of that weight on the top. But we just want to be loosening all this up now. Because like I said, the wolfette, we want it to be a summer haircut. So we want it to be very, very loose. There we go. That's it done. That's the wolfette all done. So let's pull out that front. See there? Create a nice little face framing fringe. We've got these pieces here which are going to sort of blend in with these pieces just here. I'll show you. There's our fringe. And then there's the shortest piece of our mullet. And it's exactly the same length. So we're just gonna free this up a little bit. We've kept all that length there. We've got all of this texture built in here. Here's those shorter pieces I was on about. There's our length. Short piece in here, scaffolding. It's gonna hold up here, making the top seem a little bit weightier. But for the client, easier to manage because we've removed a lot of the bulk. And again here, there, there. Where is it? Shortest bit link up perfectly take that back out give us a little bit of a, a titivate and then we have it the wolfette so looking at those mullety pieces so you can see there a lot shorter up in here. We've got this length here that falls over those short pieces there, which hold it up. Loads of texture, loads of softness, loads of weight still through here. So we're still keeping that wolf cut vibe. But then when we spin it, got that sort of mullety shortness up in those sides. I'm hoping that these quick methods have been able to show you how to section it out and where we would cut it to for it to fall to really help you uh, become that stylist that you really want to be. Because one of the biggest things that I always notice when young stylists come into the industry and say that clients are coming in with all these new terminologies and you've learned a bob, a one length haircut, graduated bob, and maybe a short graduation. When you're then approached to do a wolf cut or something like that, it can be quite daunting. So I'm hoping that these haircuts really help you understand that it's not too difficult what we're doing is making sure that we're sectioning out. We elevate to create softness as you do with your layering, or if it's below 90 degrees, we're graduating. And then be able to give you these haircuts that people are wanting right now. So yeah, that is the Wolfette. I hope you love it. I really love it, to be honest. I was just searching some hair trends today and I seen it and I thought, right, I'm gonna bring you it. So there we go. It's a bit, little bit similar to the Cub Cut, but it's a little bit shorter around the ears. So yeah, I love it. I hope you have too. Let me know in the comments down below if you have loved it. 
Uh, always, if you could only do one thing, that would be to smash the like button. It makes the video go further. And if you've got another click in you, just click that subscribe button. It means a lot. And until next time, I'll see you on the next video.